Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how I went from this image to this image using Lightroom and Photoshop. So I hope you enjoy it and you learn something along the way. So let's get into this edit. This picture was taken last year in Finland um, on a ski touring mission in a national park and uh, this is actually a self timer so this is me here in my thick coat. Um, nice and hazy around here, the visibility wasn't that great but it creates for a really cool feeling. It was, um, yeah, a cold one, so everyone else was inside. I, I think that's the actual room lights, and I might have put some extra lights in there as well. Um, yeah, really love this shot, love shooting in blue hours, so. And I've never shot somewhere this cold before, so this was a real experience for me. And yeah, let's get into the edit. So just gonna start off with bringing up the exposure a bit. It's a bit dark for me, and yeah, we're gonna play around with uh, masks and everything. So, I'm gonna keep this edit quite simple. Sometimes I would use more Photoshop and move things around, um, remove things I don't like anymore, and uh, maybe stretch a couple of things. But for this one, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. I have done a previous edit on this one. Um, which looks like this, but as you can see, the it's a very different feeling for what I'm going to go for this time. It's quite bright, um, and the cabin's in the middle here, which I don't like too much, so I'm going to reposition it slightly, so it's just a bit more balanced with me in the cabin. Yeah, cool. Cool, right, so, on the exposure. Change the colour a bit, make it a bit cooler, way too purple for my liking. Much prefer a bit more cyan going on. Can always tweak this a bit more later. Cool, so yeah, pop down into the tank curve. Create a bit of a simple, uh, oh, simple S shape. Nothing too crazy on this one. Um, don't want to blow anything out. And to check with those, I've got these two highlighted to make sure that nothing's blown out. You'll see it go red. Okay, cool. So definitely to too saturated for my liking. Bring down the highlights a bit and maybe bump up the shadows a tiny bit. Maybe just the whites a tiny bit too. Um, yeah. Cool. Alright, maybe bring down the clarity a bit. To make it a bit softer, it was quite quite hazy anyway. Okay. So the hues. This is where the this is where it gets good. So I normally whack this up here a bit and bring these down. Yeah, that's pretty nice. And the purples, sometimes the blues are always in there. Especially in blue hour, I found that quite a bit, but Careful not to go too crazy, these can really mess with skin tones. But you wouldn't have your skin out here because it would fall off. It was so cold, especially with uh, the wind chill as well. Brutal. So, kind of like a bit of red in there. I do normally go a bit more to the orange here. The yellow, uh, probably leave it alone mostly. Maybe bring up a little bit of, bring these down a little bit, yeah. Saturation wise, um, yeah, I don't really mind how it is already really, it's, it's pretty nice straight out of the camera this shot, so that's what we've got so far, oh, nope, that's the last one. So 
so yeah. So for colour grading, I do normally like to put a bit of blues in the shadow. But you can see there's a... Uh, there isn't much difference. <laughs> It's quite blue anyway, obviously it was blue hour, so just add a little bit. Sometimes I'd like to go warmer as well, with the highlights, but I'm going to keep it cold this time. Yeah, cool. In terms of noise reduction, um, it was only at 500 ISO, so it's not really noisy at all. Just add a tiny bit to it, um, but in reality, pretty happy with how it looks straight off the bat. Um, mind some sharpening in there, just mask it a bit. If you hold down Option here, you can see what's actually been sharpened. So I don't want everything. Yeah. Cool. Uh, lens corrections. So I'll. Um, quite like a bit of vignettes. I don't want to take it all the way. The distortion, I'll leave there. Because you can see at 16 mil it was corrected a bit. And yeah, we'll get into this later. I probably will add some grain later. Um, but after it's mostly finished, it's kind of one of my last things I like to do. So. Let's get into some masks now. So uh, I'm gonna hit M and then get the gradient. Make the make it. This was a slight hill, so let's make it a bit darker at the bottom. But we've got another one here. Gonna go for quite a dark feeling in this one. Just bring out how dark it was. And I love dark images as well. They're my favorite. One of my favorites for sure. It's uh, yeah, especially a scene like this. I mean, I'm kind of loving that already. Actually, was debating whether to bring down a gradient here, just make it a bit darker. I quite like it though. Just double click there, reset that, and then if you press O, it highlights. So. Um, hmm. Quite like it as it is, you know. Might bring it down ever so slightly. Yeah. Was thinking you could add a bit in the background here. So shift M and you create a radial mask. Could do something in the background here just to make it a bit more a bit more hazy. It was pretty hazy here already, but you can always add to it a bit. So yeah, I just need to separate this part here, so click on here, click subtract, go to the brush and then you can brush out some parts. That you don't want to be affected. I don't mind about the edges, because it normally would be. I think auto mask is on here, so that's why that's not working. You press shift and then scroll your mouse, it will increase the feather as well. Cool, so I wonder how that's looking. Hmm. Could probably add a bit more. A bit, bit more light to it. And it makes it stand out a bit more, but I might make the, uh, the feather on this a bit bigger. Also, could remove the foreground here as well, just have it behind. Yeah, so something like that. You can always 
putting these back in. So it's kind of just the enhancing the haze around the cabin. And this is with it off and with it on. I think it makes it stand out a bit more. Yeah, I don't mind that. Cool. And then I'll add another one. So press K for a shortcut. Auto mask and just bring out the cabin a bit more. Not being too particular with this one, just because it's quite soft, hazy scene. Let's get the bits you want to get. Yeah. And then let's bring the shadows and the exposure up a bit. Cool. Yeah, so. I'm liking that so far. Hmm. Just wondering if I can make this a bit darker down there. Is that too dark now? Hmm. Review this one. Nah, but we could go even darker. Yeah, I quite like that. And then there's more of a emphasis here on the subject, for me in the cabin. So probably gonna adjust the hues a bit more. Yeah. I'm liking that. And I'm just going to add a bit to the windows just to make them pop a bit more. Oh. Might make it slightly more saturated. A little bit of saturation there. Okay, so that's before. Nice. So, I'm liking this so far. And, yeah, I probably will clean up these bits in Photoshop. I normally don't like to use the... Uh, in built one in Lightroom, I just think it's quite slow. So yeah, I like to go through. So, yeah, look at look at this. Like, well, <laughs> come on, man, what, what are you doing? Um, so yeah, normally I like to stick it in Photoshop. So let's go in there and give it a while. Clean it up slightly. Not going to do too much to it really. Um, so come on, Jay, to make a new layer and then straight into the patch tool. Spot healing tool even, and then just clean up some bits that I think are a little bit distracting. Nothing too major here in this one, quite a simple edit really. Um, I can go a lot more involved in my edits, especially sometimes for client things when you need to get the need to get the shot. Um, these are actually the skis we arrived on. I'm not the biggest fan. Can't really tell what they are. And these little posts, fence posts here. Cool. Yep, not going to do too much to this one really. Sometimes I'd like to remove bits like this. But, is it really worth it? I'm not sure. Oh, I don't know. I don't know really. 
I mean, it's not going to be perfect. It was winter anyway. Maybe that. Yeah, I probably won't be too particular about this because it was winter and all of this adds to it. Um, sometimes it's just seeing what kind of seeing what stands out and what annoys you. You might come back to it and then it still annoys you. But yeah, I'd say we don't need to do too much to this one really. Yeah, so save that. And then back into Lightroom. Come on. I'm still saving? Yeah, back into Lightroom. Cool. So I noticed this was a bit of a different colour down here. So I wonder if we can adjust the hue on that. Woo! Or if that was indeed the purple. So yeah. I'm liking this so far. Um, probably just going to add a bit more grain now and then check some things over. So, head down. I mean, I'm going to close these. Keep these closed because they're annoying. So, down to the effects. And, normally add. Depends really. Depends on the scene. I'm gonna keep it around here somewhere. Don't like to go too crazy because I feel like I can just like if you go for something like this. I think that's way too much for something like this. Um, keep the roughness not too high. Add a bit of texture though. That might even be too much. I used to use none to be honest, it used to be so clean, but I like to add a bit of something now. Yeah, I'd say that is uh, pretty much there. Yeah, this is what we ended up with in the end, and then this is before, so taking it a bit, enhancing it. Might almost be too saturated now, but yeah, so quite simple edit on that one. Um, I still love this shot though. It's uh, it was a proper adventure anyway, so yeah. So there's a breakdown of how I edited that shot. I hope you learned something. I'll be doing a bunch more of these um, in different lengths, so yeah, stick around and I'll see you in the next one.